Imagine mourning the loss of a loved one and a scam at the same time. A recent trend made its way to Ohio at the Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati. People posing as representatives of funeral homes or cemeteries and contacting families using obituaries. The news reporter Seth Bird joins us live in the studio after talking with a fraud watch organization and a local funeral home about this latest trend. Seth. What happened at Spring Grove Cemetery is not the first time scammers have tried taking advantage of grieving families. This has been a national trend over the last year. Now that trend is hitting close to home. They're worried about going through the stages of grief and kind of healing themselves. And then the next thing they know, they're the target of a scam. Already grieving the loss of a loved one, funeral homes say these scammers are calling, trying to convince you to pay for your loved one's service or extra charges over the phone, threatening that if you don't, the funeral service will not happen. It's frankly, it's just terrible. Criminals want money, right? They go where the money is and older adults hold the majority of wealth in the United States. But let me be clear that they will steal $5 from a 19 year old or 5,000 from a 79 year old. They don't care. Route Song says if you receive a call like this, and you don't know if the person on the other end is legitimate, don't give your credit card information over the phone. Instead, call your funeral home or cemetery directly. You trust them, you verify them. They're gonna be the ones that's the go between to make sure that everything's handled in the appropriate manner. And if you're not hearing from your funeral director on the phone, that should kind of be a red flag to begin with. And in the sign of the times, Route Song adds you should not share a lot of information in the obituaries since there is so much information available online these days. You know, at this point, with happening down in Cincinnati, I, I fear it's only a matter of time, but just if everybody's more vigilant, maybe it'll just kind of go away after a while. If you do receive a call like this, you can report it to the AARP Fraud Watch Network helpline or call the number on your screen at 877-908-3360. In studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.